Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is October 26, 2016. Asteroid number 2009 ES back in the news. We got a few emails based on this subject. So, we decided to see what we can find out. So, I immediately started looking into this Asteroid 2009 ES and I was directed towards an update that Pastor Paul Begley had on his show and I went to his video and checked it out and started looking into some other things. Now, folks, we're always under the threat of objects appearing out of nowhere and the imminent threat of impact with Earth. It's always there. It's space. Things can come from anywhere, and we do have to rely on our government and NASA to find these objects. And clearly, they miss them sometimes but we'll get into that but let's listen to what pastor paul has to say i love this man love his show just take a listen and the u.s military to search the heavens for incoming asteroids and to put a contingent plan together on how to deal with it meanwhile russia has already announced they're already working on ways to fire nuclear weapons into space to blow up incoming asteroids and and then uh, China has already announced a few months ago that there is a killer asteroid and they give it they told us its name it's 2009 ES it's huge but they didn't say if it's going to hit the earth they said it's coming in this direction they didn't tell us if it's going to miss by how far or or any dates I went to NASA NASA does acknowledge there is a 2009 ES asteroid but no information. We don't see once again, folks, NASA doesn't give out a bunch of information. You know, they put things on their websites and we have to take everything like, you know, it's the word of God. And frankly, it's not. I, I went ahead and uh, looked into something else. Pastor Paul was mentioning a TV show that's coming out in the summer of 2017 produced by CBS called Salvation. It is basically about a big asteroid coming at the earth and everyone having six months to live before the impact. So I went ahead, looked that up, and yes, uh, CBS is highly publicizing this TV show for the summer of 2017, but something's very fishy about this because looking at the whole entire schedule of Nibiru coming in, and out of our solar system and dates that are being given March, April, May 2017. Will we make it into the TV season for the summer of 2017? CBS is publicizing this now in October. Is this just like another psychological drips and drabs of information that they're sending out there? Um, you know, we have really seen an increase in objects in and around our solar system. Yes, naturally, it's space. Things are going to fly in and out, but we have seen a very large increase. And I went ahead and looked into some other things. And I checked out 2009 ES on NASA. Uh, they've taken a look at it 166 times. Uh, the condition code is zero. So basically, they're saying that they're not worried about it on their website. Now, this chart right here, these are near-Earth asteroids that have been discovered. You could go down to the chart around the year 2000 and steadily move up, and you'll see these numbers naturally increase all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, and that is October 23rd, 2016, 15,042 objects. So let's move back here, NASA. Condition code, zero. Now, back in 2013, NASA and the whole world missed this asteroid coming into Russia and exploding and doing damage. Let's just take a quick snippet and look at this. Imagine seeing this while driving in your car. Amazing. Listen to the explosions. Amazing footage seen all over the world. Nihuese, it's a good 
О, нихуя метеорит, блядь. Внимание, Ебануться. Нихуя себе. Нахуй. So that just shows you how fast an object can come from anywhere. Come from блядь, just не, straight out of space. Now, folks, those sounds, those explosions were the meteor exploding. I believe it was about 15 miles above the Earth's surface. The sound waves from the explosion did the damage, not the impact into the ground. Thank God that meteor did not land <laughs> in a heavily populated area because the destruction would have been catastrophic. There would have been loss of life instead of injuries. But that just goes to show you the imminent threat that we are under all the time. And with the theories of Nibiru being within our solar system and possibly redirecting asteroids, smaller meteors directly into Earth, well, you know, those possibilities are there. And we have to rely on the United States government and our world governments to protect us. And you obviously know how I feel about that. I feel that they don't tell us everything that they know and they hide a lot of information. And they're definitely hiding the imminent threat of Nibiru or whatever is lying within our solar system that is the potential threat upon our Earth. Now, I did find an orbit path of this asteroid simulation. Let's take a look at it real quick. It takes it right past Earth. Um, the dates were there. Supposedly, this has already passed us and has moved away from Earth and is now back into its very long orbit. And you can clearly see that Earth was right up there. We'll just play it again real quick because it goes kind of fast. You'll see the asteroid here, 2009 ES. It's kind of small. You have Earth right here. And it does come very close, September, October, and then gone all the way up into its orbit. Now, again, this was just a simulation. How much credence there is to it, I, I really can't tell you. And then there's always... NASA talking about their asteroid redirection program, and they put these really cool videos on their uh, website. They produce them for YouTube all the time. And, and here's the thing. You know, back in September, we did have a very big threat of an asteroid impact. We do have subscribers, loyal Nibiru watchers, that do send us photographs in from Lasco and Soho. We received this photograph back in late September 2016, clearly showing some very large space objects. And then the amateur astronomers tell us, oh, well, there's nothing out there. Well, you know what, sir? I beg to differ. I believe there's a lot out there that we are not told about, that we don't know about. And eventually, you know, we'll find out. But are we going to find out whenever it's too late? That's my problem. It seems the International Space Station has been tracking an object, a very large rock that is, seems to be, or is, stuck in an orbit around the Earth, a very close orbit. I've seen this time and time again. Then we have all kinds of subscribers taking photographs of an object near the moon, hundreds of objects near the moon. But nobody will tell us professionally and be honest and tell us what it is. And then we have the problem with believing them because there is so much disinformation out there. Are you lying to me? Are you telling me the truth? That's the problem I have. That's the problem all of us have. Who can we believe when we ask a serious question? Are we going to be given this absolutely long technical question that we don't understand? Or can it be simple? Yes, there are objects there. Are they threats? We don't know. So that's the bottom line. 
Don't give me this long mathematical equation that will fit on a chalkboard from one end to the other. Give it to me in layman's terms. Don't lie to us. And do I think that there is a rogue planet out there by the name of Nibiru beginning to make its exodus and threatening our Earth? My opinion, I believe so. So the bottom line is, are there other objects out in space threatening Earth? My opinion, you bet your asteroid there are. Will the governments tell us in time? That will be seen in the very near future. So each and every day, I will continue to investigate. I will continue to turn over these rocks and find the information for disclosure. And with that said, I'd like to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys do a fantastic job. Would also like to thank you for your loyal subscribership. You can continue to email your photographs and your video to NibiruPlanetX2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. And subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky.